Slide Edo. All right, chat, let's move on, man. Rappers who went broke in the stupidest ways. Now, I ain't gonna lie. They had 50 Cent in the thumbnail, and I feel like that's literally about to be him right For here. Bankruptcy. That's kind of crazy. 50 Cent ain't broke now. Like, what? Maybe, like, went like maybe went broke some point in their career, but it's, like, no no longer broke, like, or some shit. I feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes. Ice cream, make like stars, stop them out. It's a man down. What? Baby, my little custom PC getting fanned out. I'm not from the block, I'm from the H, and we don't play around. Catch him at a red light with a napkin, we gon' spray him down. <laughs> Someone said, are these RDC bots? That's what I'm saying, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I know they posted. Chill, bro, like... I'm gonna get to it when I get to it. Relax, man. For the people on YouTube, chat being chat. RDC, 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 get a watch chat. Get a watch chat. Before filing for bankruptcy, 50 Cent was spending $108,000 per month to rent an 18 bedroom mega mansion, while T Pain's bankruptcy was so brutal that by the end of it, he had to borrow money just to buy Burger King. What? However, let's begin by talking about DMX, who had to file for bankruptcy. Okay, first of all, first of all, oh, RIP. First of all, RIP. Second of all, why you on his dick now? Why you on his dick right now? For your revenue, man. For your ad revenue, man. Get your bag, bro. Get your bag, man. <laughs> See on you got me to click the video. Three separate occasions as he couldn't afford child support. You see, DMX had 17 children Damn. with 11 different women, and almost every child resulted in some kind of lawsuit or child support requirement. For example, DMX was sued for 1.5 million worth God of child damn. support in 2008 after genetic- 17 kids? Bro, most houses don't even got 17 rooms. What? Tess confirmed that he was the father of a previously unclaimed baby, which when combined with his declining music career, resulted in his first bankruptcy filing. Hell Four no. years later in 2012, DMX was sued by a different ex-partner for a further $1 million worth of child support, and a year after this lawsuit, he'd file for bankruptcy a second time. His third bankruptcy would occur in 2016, during which it would be discovered that DMX had racked up a further $1.7 million worth of unpaid child and family support, which accompanied $950,000 in bank debt and 1.7 million worth of tax debt. Since he had zero dollars in his bank account, DMX- Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Me? Uh, I'm opening up GTA uh, 5 and I'm driving to the nearest bridge and I'm jumping off that bitch. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. X was sentenced to six months in prison for the child support, a further year in prison for the unpaid taxes, and was also ordered to pay the government 2.29 million in restitution after he was released from his time behind bars. Hell However, no. DMX never had the chance to pay the amount back in full, as he died in April 2021, and despite his extensive family tree, DMX never wrote a will, meaning that his family was still involved in money-related legal battles even after he was dead and buried. Oh my. Tiger was certainly better at managing his Tiger. Wait, where's Tiger been? Where's Tiger been, man? I haven't heard. I haven't heard like nothing from Tiger. Ain't no way he went broke. Payments, although he definitely had a weakness when it came to luxury spending. After cultivating his career as a successful rapper, Tiger's name entered news headlines after he'd purchased a $200,000 Mercedes Maybach for his girlfriend while being $480,000 behind in rental payments on a luxury Malibu home. Oh, as a result, no. Tiger was sued by his landlord, although he'd failed to show up to court as he was on holiday in Turks and Caicos. Yet, oh my god, I forgot that they were, I forgot that they were a thing. Yo, it's so crazy how, like, these girls just be, like, all over, bruh. This situation wasn't the only example of Tiger's- Dante move. Yo, I promise you, I ain't covering up nothing, bro. You're like, you ain't, you're like, they ain't nothing to see, bro. Like, I'm surprised at how many people, like, lust over these, these Kardashians when that shit is all, like, you know what, to each his own, bro. To each his own, but, like, bro, this ain't nothing but fucking- On a holiday in- His chest is bigger than hers, bro. You might as well be looking at his shit, bro. Turks and Caicos, yet this situation wasn't the only example of Tiger spending big in one area while being financially behind in another. For example, in 2000... Another. I'm just, yo, I'm just joking, Sonny. Uh, Sonny, when I be saying, you know, just the way you be talking to be funny, uh, I may be making me laugh. Uh. 
16 while shopping for a new Bentley, Tiger's Ferrari 458 was repossessed in the parking lot as Tiger hadn't been paying for the loan. That's now, embarrassing. Despite this, Tiger would go on to purchase another Mercedes Maybach, as well as a Land Rover, a Rolls-Royce Ghost, and a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, all of which were repossessed for non-payment while he was seen looking at a brand new Lamborghini. Mega. In addition to this, Tiger was sued by a second landlord for 181000 after once again missing rental payments in 2016, which was followed by a third property-related lawsuit in 2020, where Tiger had racked up over $200,000 oh in damages God. and unpaid rent on yet another rental property. Yo, I couldn't imagine being like, I, I couldn't imagine being in that big of a hole, bro. In that big of a hole and still got the nerve to be out in public, like, looking at new cars and shit. Hold on. Let me see something. What you want, Tiger? Was a good one. Nice. Vegas, New York weekend. Okay, tickets. All right. Nice picture. All right, let's see what you got going on. Uh, Chris Brown. Okay, cool. Okay, let's copyright it. All right, well, you know, he's still out there. It was then revealed that Tiger was being court ordered to pay for $200,000 worth of unpaid jewelry, which accompanied the accusation by his ex-girlfriend Black China that he'd been missing child support payments. And just to add a cherry on top of the cake, while all of this was going down, oh Tiger was in $890,000 oh worth of tax debt Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. How is he still operating with over 800 k 800 k in back taxes. How are you even still operating? I would lose my fucking mind. I would lose my mind, bro. Despite all of this, Tiger is still seen flexing a lavish life. That's what I'm saying, bro. How the fuck he pay to get Chris Brown on his shit? Social media, which is a luxury unavailable to rap producer Scott Storch. Oh my gosh. I remember he used to always be on uh, Real Star Hip Hop, bro. Blew through $70 million in less than three years. Scott had earned this money by producing for some of the biggest names in music, including Kanye West, Dr. Dre, and Jay-Z. Yet Scott Storch's insane net worth began. Why does it look like Elon Musk, Elon Musk brother? <laughs> Like Elon Musk's long lost brother, bro. And to diminish after he'd purchased an insane supercar collection. 30 cars, including Bugattis and Ferraris and all that kind of stuff. As well as a $10.5 million mansion where he housed more than 20 staff, including a boat captain, just in case he wanted to go out on his yacht. So the captain was on full time staff? Yeah. In case he wanted to take the boat out. Yeah. And the boat. Oh, look at the dog. Boat was how many bedrooms? Seven. Seven bedroom boat worth about how much? 20 million. 20 million. Yo. House is worth $20 million. And that shit is just only seven bedrooms, huh? That shit's only seven bedrooms? Boat was how many bedrooms? Seven. Seven bedroom boat worth about how much? Oh, it's a seven bedroom boat. Oh, the boat. 20 million. I was about to say, what? 20 million. Scott went on to explain just how much this lifestyle was costing him. My monthly overhead for my household employees was somewhere in the neighborhood of a million dollars a month I was spending. And that if he continued to work, there wouldn't have been any problems, although this isn't what he would do. It went from me working and delivering to, to doing adult. drugs and not going to the studio. I just stopped working and then I got depressed and jaded. As mentioned, Scott stopped making music and instead began to get addicted to the nightlife in Miami. And with no money coming in, plus a million a month month going out, it was only going to be so long before Scott hit zero. Yeah. By 2009, just three years after having a net worth of 70 million, Scott had filed for bankruptcy. Damn. Six years later, Scott would file for bankruptcy a second time, claiming to have a grand total of $3,600 of assets to his name, $100 in cash, $500 in clothing, and a $3,000 watch. Most shocking, his music companies are valued at $0, and in 2014, he made a grand total of only $10,000. Oh my God. Throughout this hardship, Fat Joe was one of the only rappers to keep their friendship with Scott, possibly because Fat Joe went through a similar situation himself. Fat Joe had earned $1.18 million in 2007, $1.28 million in 2008, $265,000 in 2009, and $630,000 in 2010. However, despite having made this $3.3 million Yo, in it's, 30000 It's crazy how much, like, revenue can flip-flop back and forth, expect, like, for a rapper. Because it's like one year, two year, three year, you can have three good years and suddenly that following year, nothing, nothing. Next year, nothing. Next year, boom, you got a hit. And then like you ride that for a little bit. Yeah, like that shit's kind of, 
That shit kind of scary. 2010. However, despite having made this 3.3 million in only four years, Fat Joe failed to pay taxes on it. He was able to come up with $718,000 and had also done extensive charity work. However, this wasn't enough to satisfy the judge who sentenced Fat Joe to four months in prison. Despite taking personal responsibility for his actions by stating, there was a lot going on in the years that I didn't file my taxes, but it was my responsibility. Less than four years later, Fat Joe entered news headlines again after the IRS revealed that he still owed them 1.1 oh million in taxes. God. However, this number was absolutely nothing in comparison to Fat Joe's friend Lil Kim, who owed all Yo, these transitions are fucking crazy, bro. I know every time he's seen a picture with the next person he was doing, he was like, oh, oh, oh my god, perfect. <laughs> Literally perfect. Holy shit almost four times more and became quote, too poor to file for bankruptcy. Lil Kim wasn't nearly as successful as some of the other rappers featured on this list. However, this didn't stop her from purchasing a $2.3 million mansion back in 2002, notably with the help of a mortgage. Throughout the 2000s, Kim's music career slowed dramatically. And by 2018, Kim was filing for bankruptcy as she still owed the full $2 million on her property, oh despite the 16 years that had passed. Oh in addition to this, Kim now owed $1.8 Eight five million to the government for thirteen years worth of unpaid taxes. Chat when you are doing chat when you are doing this shit, Dante. You're literally the set. Yo, what is that? What is that? Yo, yo. Okay, I'm not, I'm not reading that. Yo, when you are in this business, when you work for yourself, or if like, and that goes for if you're a streamer, if you are, if you're a rapper, if you're like a, a an artist or entrepreneur, or whatever the fuck you are. Okay, where it is your own soul? You are your boss. Taxes always or will win in the end so no matter how much money you're making i hope that everybody is making sure a lot of that shit is going to your fucking taxes because that shit adds the fuck up bro holy shit almost two mil almost two million unpaid taxes yo and g i would literally open up gta get in the car drive to the dam and then drive the fuck off of it are you fucking kidding me which accompanied a further 185,000 in unpaid legal fees. The bankruptcy became even worse after discovering that by 2018, Kim was earning a comparatively small $18,000 per month, of which $2,000 went to staff, another $2,000 went to clothing, and $10,000 went to travel fees, meaning she had less than $4,000 per month to dig a- Chat, that's bad. That's bad. Aren't taxes a scam? Uh, yeah, the biggest scam, but what the fuck are you gonna do? Tell the government that and not pay it? Like, you're, you're still fucked. Yo, $18,000, $18,000 a month, and you owe $2 million in taxes. To some people, eighteen k a month is like, yo, what? That's a lot. That's a lot. But, but, but it's like, oh my God, some people just, some people just don't like put some aside and just be going crazy. 2000 on clothes and shit like that. herself out of four million worth of debt. Somehow Lil' Kim managed to quote, get her finances into good shape and her bankruptcy filing was dismissed. However, MC Hammer wasn't quite so lucky. MC Hammer! Despite having the fifth best selling hip hop album of all time. Yeah, in 1990, like what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? which sold 17 million copies and featured songs such as You Can't Touch This, MC Hammer wasn't able to stay out of financial trouble. He bought more than 17 luxury cars, a private jet, two helicopters, and 21 racehorses. Some of the horses were valued at around 1 million. Most of his expenses, however, were on his home. He bought a- Y'all know when Dante's streaming. Yo, EJ, are you fucking kidding me? Yo. You have one hit. That goes crazy. As a, like, as a rapper, I would never want to just be solely a rapper. Because you can have one hit, but it, it, it is hard to make sure that you follow up on that big hit, bro. That's why a lot of people be doing, like, remixes, or they'll do, like, a part two. Like, they'll be later in their career, and they'll be, like, a, a Hammer Time part two or some shit like that. And it's like, yo, it's not, it's not like a movie. It like music is never like a movie. Just because you put a two at the end of that, yeah, people are gonna listen to it, but it's not like, you know, it, it don't work like that. 
property in Fremont, California for $12 million and spent another $30 million on renovations oh to turn God. it into his dream home. He added a bowling alley, basketball court, baseball field, recording studio, movie theater, 17-car garage, tennis courts, and two swimming pools to the 40,000 square foot mansion. Bro, you know how good you would have been if he would have got all that money he got from the Hammer Time shit in that year and then paid all the taxes off that year? And then next year, probably just like chill, even if he didn't really make a hit. Like you can literally just chill because, yo, with taxes, it's about what you earn that year, right? What if you already have like a shit ton of money from the previous year? What about that? Like, how does that work? Kanye reported missing. I thought they found him in like a church or something. One of the pools was shaped like his signature baggy pants that came to be known as hammer pants. He added several marble statues of himself throughout the property and installed a gold hot tub in his bedroom. And to keep everything running smoothly, he employed a staff of nearly 200 people on the property, which cost him an estimated $500,000 a what month. What are you thinking? Unsurprisingly, less than five years later, MC Hammer had filed for bankruptcy, at which point it had to be revealed that he hadn't only spent his entire $70 million fortune, but had also taken on a further 13 million in loans, which had been borrowed from over 200 different lending institutions. Despite having spent- What the fuck? Okay, hold on. I gotta see exactly what this means. Like, what this means. Uh, Cause like, I know what it means, but I just need to know what it means exactly. Okay. What does she look so fucking sad? Um, Bankrupt. Thank you. Uh, of a person or organization declared in law unable to pay outstanding debt. Okay. So just basically claiming that you cannot pay these things. But then what happens, like what happens with that though? Is legal process through which people or entities cannot pay uh, debt or creditors may seek relief from some or all their debts. Okay. And then, then you have to go to court for that and then it's like do they just pay it for you or they do they let you you they let you start over there's different types of bankruptcy okay so it basically pays your debt but your credit score goes down a lot ooh ooh the judge damn that's kind of yo make sure y'all make sure y'all paying attention to this cuz this shit kind of crazy bro Nothing. Yeah, this uh, kind of fucking sucks. A total of 42 million on his California dream home. The property resold for only 6.5 million. However, if we're on the topic of expensive homes being repossessed by the bank, ah, Bird, we need man. to talk about Brr. Birdman, who's ranked as the 15th richest rapper in the world with a net worth of 110 million dollars. But this is what makes Birdman the world. Why is there not a picture for M Eminem? <laughs> Where's Eminem pictures at? That's so racist with a net worth of $110 million. But this is what makes Birdman's story unique. If he was worth over $100 million, why was his Miami mansion being repossessed by the bank for non-payment? Birdman had purchased the home back in 2012 for $14.5 million, yet by 2017, a foreclosure suit had been filed by the bank and quote, all personal items within the home, including platinum records gracing the walls, a pool table, and dozens of pairs of shoes were all confiscated and placed in storage. What is the purpose of buying such a big fucking house? Oh, wait. To show your dick off to other men, bro. Like, to, to show your dick off to other men about how much you're able to afford. Just for you. Just for this shit to get repossessed and, and like, taken by the government. Like, what's the point? The mansion was eventually sold by the bank for $10.85 million in July 2020. However, Birdman's lawyer has come out to explain the foreclosure, stating that it was the result of illegal loan terms set by the bank, so perhaps take Birdman's bankruptcy with a grain of salt. However, there's no ambiguity around how pain. Tim Payne went broke, as he's now come on multiple podcasts to explain just how brutal his bankruptcy was. t Payne had built up a net worth of over $40 million at his peak in 2007, with all of his close his rap friends advising him that as long as he kept rapping, the money would keep on coming in. Everybody before me that I had to look up to, they were just like, no, this is great. Once you start rapping, it's good, just money all the time. <laughs> Nothing bad's ever gonna happen. Your family's not gonna come after you. Just rap, and it's just girls and swimming pools after this. <laughs> <laughs> 
For this reason, his spending began to get out of control. I bought my Bugatti. He bought it for $2.1 million. $2.1 million. And then you, very shortly thereafter, you sold it for, all they gave you was $800,000. Oh yeah. my God. So it was like renting a car for <laughs> $1.3 million. Yeah. What a fucking waste. With the purchase of his Bugatti accompanying a $400,000 chain and houses for his workmates. I got this house I want to get. I got this other house. What the fuck is that that voice? Do not ever, ever disrespect Steve-O like that. Don't ever. He's the motherfucking goat, and you will respect him as such, bitch. House for my assistance, and yeah. you don't know what the fuck he's been through. Okay, you really don't know what the fuck he's like. Like I'm trolling, but I'm like half serious at the same time. You really don't know what the fuck he's been through. I suggest you watch a documentary. This this nigga's story could be like a like that. I don't know why that shit's not on Netflix. I don't know why that shit's not on Netflix. You know, all my, my runners and, and <laughs> my producers and stuff. So we bought a house after that and we just started going crazy with the money. I wasn't paying attention to it. Which was extra bad as T-Pain never even checked in on how much money he had. Mm. I didn't want to know because I was led to believe that this is just going to, it's only going to grow. Because these rappers told me that I'm just going to make money forever. It's just going to keep going up and up. In the process, T-Pain began to create less music. And within a few years, his accountant was advising him that he was almost out of money. Yeah. My accountant was like, dude, you're like out of money. And I was like, no, I'm not. And while T-Pain seemed confident that he had plenty of cash left, reality set in for him after he'd have to borrow money just to buy food. When you say you was broke, was you had like zero dollars broke? I like had to borrow money to get my kids Burger King. What's the most you ever had in the bank at one time? 40 million. However, T-Pain was lucky to get away with a loss of only 40 million, as the final person on our list makes this number look cent. like loose change. 50 cent. 50 well, first, well, 50 cent. Well, T-Pain, like, he's, like, streaming now, though. He's, like, he's streaming now. And then 50 Cent, don't he got, like, a whole TV show and all this shit? He didn't only release the 10th best-selling American hip-hop album of all time, but he also made over $100 million. I think 50 Cent been, been kind of on his up and up on a vitamin water investment, plus a further $78 million from a luxury underwear deal. Don't forget his video game. In the late 2000s, 50 Cent made an estimated $300 million in only two years. So when he'd announced that he was filing for bankruptcy in mid 2015, with debts totaling over 32 million, the entire world was thinking the same thing. How did this happen? Well, after 50 Cent uploaded a sex tape with Rick Ross's girlfriend, 50 was successfully sued for 7 million, which accompanied another Court. That's so fucking disrespectful. Yo, 50 Cent is like, oh my gosh, bro. Like people thought, people thought like 6ix9ine was ridiculous. Nah, 6ix9ine Six, learned all he ever learned from 50 Cent, bro. 50 Cent is just fucking was on D. He invented Demon Time order for 50 cent to pay 17 million to a headphone manufacturer after one of their collabs went sour. 50 cents clothing company G Unit Clothing then fell out of the spotlight. Damn, yeah, that yo. Anybody in the chat ever had G Unit? No. A lot of y'all are like young. You're fucking the doubt y'all had it. But G it was G Unit. It was uh Sean John Echo Unlimited. Um all that shit, man. That that used to be the shit. That used to be the shit people was wearing at school. Fubu, yeah, Fubu. Yo, pig on a, a pig on poop. Thank you for the vibe. Get the what kind of name is that? The company, the closing. Rockaware. Oh my god. Rockaware. Fat Farm. Holy shit. Baby fat. Ah of his movie company G Unit Production South Pole I'm sorry they y'all are just kind of unlocking y'all just unlocking all the brands that people was like if you was not wearing it people was roasting you people were on you if you're not working it D I remember everybody had them big ass DCs bro I'm talking no, I'm, I'm talking about like the the big ass DC like like skating shoes and then there was the forces everybody like back then people they was they had forces um Tommy Hilfiger, golly, bro. And it's like all this shit, most of this shit, nobody, if you wore that shit now, people look at you like, yo, I know you ain't still wearing that shit. I got me some bathing, I got, I got me some bathing apes.
Promotions, as well as his boxing company, SMS Promotions. Throughout the whole process, the global financial crisis had taken a toll on the value of 50 cents investments, and by 2015, he was earning a comparatively small $185,000 per month. You could certainly argue that this was enough for 50 to get back. That's why I say that's, that's still a lot though, what? People don't even make that in a year on his feet. However, 108,000 of this monthly income was going toward an 18 bedroom mega mansion, while the remaining 77,000 was going toward menial expenses such as his gardener, with bankruptcy documents revealing that 50 Cent still owed money to his stylist, fitness coach, and even his barber. Despite this, he began to troll barber. on social media with <laughs> posts such Bro, this shit was so funny, bruh as this one, spelling out the word broke with $100 bills. And within two years, 50 Cent had paid back 23 million oh worth of his God. $32 million debt. 50 Cent eventually got back to zero, and according to Google, has built up a net worth of $40 million over the last five years. That's crazy, bro. Like, dug himself out of hole and got even richer and still shit. Like, I'd be talking shit to any and everybody too, bro. Like, fuck is you talking about? Broke, $100 everywhere. W comeback, man.